That's when you find a link between something you already know and what you are reading. Good readers are able to make connections in three main ways. Text to text, text to cell, and text to world. A text-to-text -text connection is when you can connect the book you're reading to something that you've read previously. In this book about martial artist and action star Bruce Lee, it says that he held great respect for the heavyweight boxing champion, Muhammad Ali. It just so happens that I've already read this book about Muhammad Ali, so I was able to connect them together. If you want to make a text-to-self connection, all you have to do is think of something from your own life that is like what you are reading. I really love this book because the main character looks just like me. The connection made me really interested in the story. When there is a link between what you are reading and something that you've seen on the news, internet, or other media, that is a text-to-world connection. This is a book about a girl named Malala Yousafzai. She's been in the news a lot recently due to her courage against people that did not want her or other girls to have an education. This book and what I saw on the news matched up pretty well. You can make connections with any type of book. Some of the books featured in this video were from a genre called biography, which is the true story of a person's life. Making connections is a great way to improve reader comprehension and engagement. It's like a little spark that makes you more interested in what you are reading. Try it out! See you next time!